Hello, beloved. Today is Wednesday of the 15th week after Pentecost, September 8th, 2021. Today we begin St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, and he tells us about some differences between those who preach the gospel. We'll read more about that later, but first, our opening versicle. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our psalm for the week is Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man, in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners, he upholds the widow and the fatherless, but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn for the week is hymn number 797 from Lutheran Service Book, Praise the Almighty. Praise the Almighty, my soul, adore Him. Yes, I will laud Him until death. With songs and anthems I come before him, as long as he allows me breath. From him my life and all things came. Bless, O oh my soul, his holy name. Alleluia, alleluia. Trust not in rulers, they are but mortal. Earthborn they are and soon decay. Vain are their counsels at life's last portal. When the dark grave engulfs its prey, Since mortals can no help afford, Place all your trust in Christ our Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed, oh blessed, are they forever, whose help is from the Lord Most High, whom from salvation can nothing sever, and who in hope to Christ draw nigh. To all who trust in him, our Lord, will aid and counsel now afford. Alleluia, alleluia. Pen 
penitent sinners for mercy crying, pardon and peace from him obtain. Ever the wants of the poor supplying, their faithful God he will remain. He helps his children in distress, the widows and the fatherless. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise all you people, the name so holy of him who does such wondrous things all that has being to praise him solely with happy heart its amen sings children of god with angel host Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Today we take up St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, beginning with chapter 1. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi, with the overseers and deacons. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy, because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to feel this way about you all, because I hold you in my heart, for you are all partakers with me of grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I yearn for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment, so that you may approve what is excellent, and so be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. I want you to know, brothers, that what has happened to me has really served to advance the gospel, so that it has become known throughout the whole imperial guard and to all the rest that my imprisonment is for Christ. And most of the brothers, having become confident in the Lord by my imprisonment, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from good will. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but thinking to afflict me in my imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in that I rejoice. Yes, and I will rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance, as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed but that with full courage now as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue again today with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, let your merciful ears be open to the prayers of your humble servants and grant that what they ask may be in accord with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we pray a Wednesday prayer from the Lutheran Book of Prayer. Let us pray. O almighty, merciful God, Gracious Father in heaven, you once again have defended me this night through the protection of your holy angels, so that I have lived to see yet another day refreshed and sound. For that I give you thanks and praise, that all my doings and my will match yours, and of your great mercy forgive me the miserable sin that accompanies me. Govern with your Holy Spirit all my efforts, heart, intellect, desires, and thoughts, all my words and works, that I might understand that which is good and that which is evil. May I also be able to live and find my way today in this evil and perverted world, so that above all else, forgiven of my sins, I may carry a heartfelt longing for the eternal heavenly home that has been purchased and won for me by Christ my Savior. May I not belittle, fritter away, and finally lose that with my sinful life. To that end, graciously help me with your divine love and the power of the Holy Spirit, for the sake of your dear Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll wrap it up again today with Luther's morning prayer. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. God bless your day, beloved.